Okay, so my lipstick collection is one that is um, gonna be tricky for me. All of them are probably gonna be tricky for me just because I have so many A and B because a lot of these I like, I really wanna keep, but I know that like this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, nobody needs this many lipsticks, nobody can use this many lipsticks with glosses. Um, so that's something else to bear in mind is that this is not just like liquid lipsticks or bullet lipsticks. This is all of my lip products. Um, somewhere under here, I have like all of my lip liners. Um, so I guess we can just kind of start there. These Kylie ones, um, Kylie's are my favorite. So I won't be getting rid of those. This is a cream gel liner. Um, so it doesn't even belong in this pile. Um, but my Kylie ones are some of my favorite, um, say what you will, but I just really enjoy these. Um, I have this by Lipstick Queen and it's supposed to be, I'm pretty sure like, um, one of those ones that makes it so that your lipstick doesn't bleed. I don't, honestly don't know that I've ever used this and I probably won't ever use this. So I'm going to move all these. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, I have this one here too. It's the No Bleed Lip Liner. I have used this one and it doesn't work well. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, I've had that one forever and the rest of these, oh no. I have two by Bodyography. I haven't used them yet. So I'm going to hold on to them and give them a shot before I declutter those. But I'm going to hold on to um, these. Um, I don't know if any of you have tried these Maybelline liquid lipsticks. I have the shade 70 um, Amazonian. They are their Superstay Matte Ink. So I will give them credit. They are super stay, um, but they're a wicked sticky formula. They don't dry down in the sense that like literally your lips stick together all day. I have never hated something more than I have hated this lip formula. Um, I know that a lot of like the bigger beauty gurus talk about these. And I honestly, if I could understand why I would tell you, but these are just, they're absolutely awful. Um, I can't say enough rude things about them. <laughs> so we're going to just move on and let that one go. I thought I had another one. Um, I thought I got two at some point, but I don't see them now, so we'll just let that go. Um, these are all of the colors that I had gotten from the Too Faced Candy Johnson collection. They are really pretty. Um, unfortunately, the formula is just really drying, but they are like they're super pretty. Like that nude is just stunning. They don't. They used to smell um, exactly like vanilla, but they're starting to kind of turn. Um, so I think honestly, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of them. But this one I think was probably my favorite. Um, what was this one? This was in the shade Sweet and Sour, and I used to love, 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 love this, but I just think that I've had these for years. This collection, unfortunately, came out years ago, um, so just I don't think it makes good sense to hold on to it, but I did love, love that color. I just thought it was really pretty and, like, this nude, super pretty, but the formula, like, you can't really tell here on my hand, but it's starting to crack, and it's just they're not what they used to be, so unfortunately, I think I have to let those go as well. Um, another one that I have is their Melted Latex, and... I think it's pretty, but it's a very gloopy, gloopy formula. So yeah, I just don't think, I don't think I'm going to get um, good use out of it. And I think there's someone that could benefit from it more than me. This one for years and years, um, this is like one of the first uh, Jeffree Star collections. Unfortunately, it no longer smells good. Um, and it certainly doesn't perform good. I honestly don't think that this is one that ever performed well. So I am going to go ahead and let go of that. It was just recently, um, in one of my nostalgic makeup tags, but I'm going to go ahead and let go of it. I knew I did. <laughs> so I knew there was another one. Um, this is that Maybelline, um, Superstay Matte Ink. This is in the shade 05 Loyalist. Um, I just, again, I can't say enough negative things about this. So I'm going to let that go another one of those um, Too Faced Melted Matte and this is just not one of my favorite formulas so I'm gonna go ahead and let that go to somebody else. I got this recently in a BoxyCharm. It's by Paracone MD. Um, it's like a no makeup lipstick. I enjoy it and it's going to expire soon so I'm gonna make sure I hold on to that and try to get some use out of it before it expires. I did find a couple more um, Too Faced. I have their Melted Latex and um, two different shades here so I'm gonna go ahead and let those go. They're just they're a very opaque formula. Um, I can actually go ahead and swatch these for you. They're a very opaque formula, but they're just so darn goopy that it's not something that I'm ever, 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 ever going to use. I do feel like they do have better staying power maybe than some glosses just because they are that, um, they are so thick, but I don't like the way that they feel on the lips. So, um, they do have some really pretty shades, but I just... Also, those two colors are very similar. They are very, very pretty. Um, as you can see, they're just not for me. The formula is not for me, I should say. Um, I have a handful of the Kylie liquid lipsticks and I'm gonna keep all of these. Um, I have like this one here. 
in the shade Boss, Candy K, Posey K, <laughs> Candy K again, actually. So that means I have a velvet <laughs> liquid lipstick of hers as well. I accidentally ordered a velvet one. I don't know why I did that. Um, and then I have Dolce K, but I am going to hold on to all of those. Um, people love to hate this brand. Um, I personally just enjoy the formula, so I'm not going to get rid of them just to get rid of them. I have a handful of these uh, MAC lipsticks and I have them in some different formulas and some different shades. So I'm going to actually go ahead and hold on to all of these because they are indeed newer to my collection. This one here is like a deeper red. Um, this is in the shade Dare You. It's their cream lipstick and this is what it looks like. It's just like a really pretty formula. So I'm going to definitely go ahead and hold on to that one. And then I also have this one and this is in the shade Mocha and this is their satin lipstick. And this is what this one looks like. So I definitely enjoy, um, <clears throat> I definitely want to play with these some more before I go uh, venturing to declutter any of them. I have these two lipsticks. They're both from the Alice in Wonderland collection. I've held onto them for years and years at this point. Um, they just, they've been very special for me, but I have other ones that do better things for me. So um, I actually have these also in my nostalgic makeup video. So I won't swatch them for you right now, but um, if you're interested, you can go ahead and check out that video. But I am going to go ahead and declutter these. I just don't think that I'm going to get any good use out of them. And it doesn't make sense for me to keep something in my collection that I'm not going to use. Um, I have this by Huda Beauty. Um, it's like a demi matte liquid lipstick. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that. I just got that in my Huda mystery bag. I also did a video on that. Um, and this is by Ola Neon. It's their velvet liquid lipstick. Um, and this is in the shade of the Easy Cell. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this as well. This actually just came in a boxy charm. I have a handful of the liquid lipsticks by Morphe. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and actually hold on to all of these. I just, I actually really prefer the formula. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to those. As you guys can see, I have just a slew of um, Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I know he's been in a lot of drama, but I spent buco bucko on these. So I'm going to try to go through these and um, I'll probably do a time lapse on it. And I'll show you at the end, like which ones that I'm able to purpose. So out of all of those, I was only able to part with um, five. So I did go ahead and I'm going to get rid of Sagittarius. It's just like I have kind of this color over and over again by him. Um, and I certainly don't need it over and over again by him. This color here is so pretty, 818. But like, I don't know if y'all can see this, but it's so cracky. It's just, it's terrible. The formula is absolutely awful. Um, Huntington Beach, I have never used and I will never use. This shade Santa Baby is just very streaky. Um, I don't have a lip liner that matches it, which it would require a lip liner to look nice. Um, and then this is the shade, Chris, um, not Chris Hampton, excuse me, Poinsettia. Um, and this shade is right here. And it's just not as pretty um, as it used to be. I think it's drying up and it's almost empty. When this shade first came out, I really loved it. But um, these days, I just, I don't wear it, so I don't need it. I do have another one by Huda Beauty. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that. Um, I do have these three by Buxom. These are their Baba Plump um, liquid lips. So I'll go ahead and swatch these for you guys. So this one right here um, is the shade Honeydew. I really love these um, and I love that shade. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. This one here um, is right here, swatched. This is the shade Getting Warmer. It's like a very pink, pretty nude, so I'm gonna hold on to that as well. And then, oh yeah. This is a really unique one. So I'm gonna hold on to this as well. Um, and this is Feel the Passion. So I am gonna actually hold on to all of those. So I'm not doing great there. Um, and then this is this shade Russian to you in the shade, same formula. And that one's pretty unique as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to all of those. Um, I just realized I do have a few more Jeffree Star ones. Um, this is Drug Lord. I'm going to hold on to this. Um, this is actually going to be more of an eyeliner shade than a lip shade. So we're going to go ahead and put it in this drawer um, because it's more of an eyeliner. Um, and then I also have this shade here by him called Berries on Ice. 
And then honestly, these two are like nearly dupes for each other. I don't understand why he came up with both, if we're being really honest. Um, but I guess I'll hold on to this one because I just think the other one's more streaky. So I'll hold on to this one for now. Um, this is another melted matte. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. This is a newer product to me. Um, there's like fur from my floor here, but it's vintage by Jessica Liebskind. I haven't even opened this one yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give that one away. I don't wear gloss that often. This is a CoverGirl lipstick. <laughs> and it looks like I might've swatched this previously, but that's actually a pretty color, um, however, I guess I'll hold on to that one for now. Um, these are the Too Faced nudes are some of my favorites. So we're going to hold on to those. I have a couple here. Oh, this is, um, I've never used this. It's so pretty. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's so pretty. Um, it's by Seate London. Um, and it is their Jessica Rabbit collection. It's that red lipstick. I've never used it, but I am going to keep it. Um, this is also by Seate London. I got this, I think I have it fun. It's in the same kind of style where it's just very glittery. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that one. I have a few of these um, Pat McGrath lip glosses. Those are absolutely gonna stay. Um, I have a mini Charlotte Tilbury in um, the shade Pillow Talk Medium. That's gonna stay. Anything by Fenty is gonna stay. I really enjoy these lip glosses. I got the little holiday kit last year. They came with a whole slew of them. The only one that's missing, I think, is chocolate, and that is because it's at my desk <laughs> at work. Um, these are by L'Oreal. These are like a shiny lip gloss, and I really enjoy these, so we're gonna definitely go ahead and keep those. Um, I have some Morphe lipsticks here. Um, they're the cream formula. I really enjoy these. This obviously I haven't used yet. I think I got these uh, when they were on sale for $5. So we're going to go ahead and just keep both of those. Um, these are pretty new to my collection. They're from Wet n Wild and they're like a shiny um, formula. I'm going to keep those. And then I just have like all these little, that's empty, but um, I have some of these little Jeffree Star ones. So I have like this gloss in the shade Star Crown. Um, it was a collaboration that he did with Morphe. I'm honestly probably not ever going to wear it. Yeah, no, I'm never gonna wear that. So I'm gonna declutter that. I don't think I've ever worn it and I'm never going to. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. What is this? This is the shade First Impressions. It looks like literally just a clear gloss. Yeah, I don't think I actually have a clear gloss. So I'll hold on to this one. Um, and then these, um, the shade Mannequin and the shade Leo. I'm just gonna hold on to those um, products. This is by Nude Sticks. I have not tried it. It came in a boxy charm. I do want to get to try it though. And then finally, the last one, Holy Guacamole. Um, it's by Revlon and it's their matte formula, which if we're being honest, is not one of my favorite formulas, but it is a really pretty color. So I'm going to hold on to it because it's not as bad as like a liquid lipstick. So in total, I got rid of 25 lipsticks, which I don't feel like is terrible. It's not great, but it's not the worst. So I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, I still have like quite a few, as you guys can see. So obviously, I need to just kind of be more mindful about um, like purchasing versus using, but I'm pretty happy with that. I am not going to count these right this second, but I'll be happy to, if I do count them later, I'll be happy to let you know how many I kept, but I did get rid of 25. So that is good for me.